What is going on guys? Welcome to a review edition of Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman and today we'll be talking about a newly launched small cap cryptocurrency project that is in the gaming sector currently and rumored to be bridging over to the NFT sector as well. This will be a Patreon first video, meaning members of patreon.com slash learn crypto will be the first people to get the information from this video and decide whether they want to play the game, whether they want to hodl the tokens, or whether they want to speculate on the price appreciation of this asset. So without further ado, what is the project we'll be talking briefly about today? It is Opoly token at opoly.game. Why is this interesting? Well, you come for the game and you stay for the rewards, according to them. Opoly is a unique and thrilling new crypto game. There are prizes scattered throughout the game board for the community to have a chance to win. If we go ahead and scroll down, it looks like they move the marker every morning at 9 a.m. Central Time. This movement is going to be based on the BNB 24-hour price. Why do they choose BNB? Well, the game is on BSC Network and BNB cannot be manipulated. It would take a huge whale to try to manipulate the 24 hour price change of BNB to then affect this relatively unknown board game. Pretty interesting. If we come down a little bit more to the token economics, this is a tax token, meaning that when you do a transaction, a buy, a sell, or send it to a friend or another wallet, you have to pay a 6% tax. Now people, oh man, that sucks because now on my gains, I'm gonna make 6% less. But it is good for token economics if used wisely. So what are they doing? 3% of that 6% tax will go to the treasury to keep funding the rewards of Opoly to Opoly holders and Opoly game players, as well as maybe marketing or liquidity or burns. And the other 50%, well, there you go, goes to liquidity. Now what is important about liquidity? Since we moved to DEXs, Pancake Swap, Quick Swap, Uniswap, the list goes on and on. Higher liquidity means more stable price action for the two assets in the pair, more liquidity for buyers, and more liquidity for sellers. Also, you've probably heard of rug pulls. If there is zero liquidity, if the project puts out 200,000 liquidity and pulls it off, it is called a rug pull because now you can't sell it. The project is going to take all that $200,000, market sell all the Opoly tokens, just as an example because we're talking about it, and it is over. But we don't have to worry about that here because 50% is going to liquidity. Right now, this tiny project already has over $500,000 in liquidity on PancakeSwap, a well-known DEX. And they've already locked up, I think $250,000 are locked in a six-month contract, giving you at least a six-month window where you know the team cannot take any of those funds from you, and you can buy and sell freely as you choose. To show how the gameplay works, if we go over here to Telegram, this is just their announcement channel because I wanted to be clean. Their actual Opoly.game is uh, quite a bit more interactive and more exciting as there is two or 3,000 members there now. But essentially, this morning, they will call at exactly at 9 a.m. the price of BNB. They'll look at the 24-hour gains or losses, and they'll look at this first tenths decimal place, and that's two. That means, to explain today's marker movement, the number to the right of the decimal for 24-hour change is two. So we move forward two spaces on the board. When they move forward two spaces, they landed on a pick your perk, and they rolled a dice. The dice was to reward LP holders. Now, for pick your perk, they're not winning right then and there, but if this icon lands on the Genesis icon, then LP rewards will win. As you move forward, there's plenty of ways to win for holders or LP providers. This one today wasn't technically a loss because what it did is it added another couple chances for LP uh, holders on pancake swap LP providers to win uh, so if you're an LP provider that is great but in order to play the game simply put all you have to do is own Opoly in your MetaMask and hold it anytime a reward is won whether it's darts or soccer or basketball where the hoop is made the goal is scored or the bullseye is hit it will be reward all holders your wallet will receive a pro rate of share of all the rewards for the day that's how you earn passive income 
If you want to enhance your abilities and increase the chances to win more Opoly, you can then go the next step further and go to Pancake Swap, and you can add liquidity, and you're going to add liquidity to the BNB and Opoly pair. They have a direct link on their website as well at the bottom. If you would like to do that, right here. If you do that, when it lands on an LP reward space on the board, then you get a pro rate share of those rewards. Those are one of the largest reward payouts from Opoly, of course, and there is some of the fewest amount of people over there because some people don't have the BNB or don't have the knowledge of how to provide liquidity. So that is up for you to decide. So step one would be just owning Opoly token. The contract address is down here. If you want to add it to Pancake Swap, or you can click directly to it. And just hold it in your wallet. Tune in at 9 a.m. It's a great way to start off your day. See if your holders are going to win some Opoly tokens. Step two, if you want to go a step further, or you want to play the odds, you want to get some LP rewards, big rewards, then you go to Pancake Swap and you provide liquidity to the BNB and Opoly pair. This helps the project because you provide an increase of liquidity available on the decks, but it also can help your pocketbook because if we land on one of those spaces, you will get huge Opoly rewards. You then can hold those Opoly, and now you have a chance to LP rewards and hold the rewards. And the third is just a rumor. Now, this is just a rumor and speculation. It is rumored that Opoly has partnered up with some people who know a little bit about the NFT space. And if you know anything about NFT space, it has been very, very popular. And the NFTs are worth a lot of money. They are looking at possibly doing a 10,000 NFT run where you can mint up to 10,000 NFTs. That's all there are with different rarity traits. Now, this would provide, if sold out, a ton of money, a ton of money for Opoly Project to do marketing to do token buybacks, to add to liquidity without having to sell any Opoly tokens. And the list goes on and on. Now, what else does it allow? On version two of the board, they could then put spaces to where holders of these NFTs can actually, wor can actually earn Opoly, providing a utility to the artwork and the, of the NFT scene. Now, if you've followed me for a while, I believe NFTs are unique, but I feel that the real use case is a utility with them. And in this case, if you hold them, you then have chances to win Opoly on a potential version 2 of their game board, giving a good floor and price for NFT. Along with that, Opoly's team is going to have a ton of money for marketing. They could pay for Tier 1 influencers. They could pay for AMAs. They could get look at uh, centralized exchanges, CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, audits, whatever it may be. So this is something to keep on the radar and something that could really enhance uh, Opoly as a whole and meaning you could probably get in at a lower floor price here if that does in fact happen. Now, Opoly is not even on CoinGecko yet. Opoly is not on CoinMarketCap yet. Opoly is not on Blockfolio or any other tracking websites from my knowledge. So in order to know about Opoly, you got to be on DexTools.io or be in the know. Maybe you're watching this video or you're watching previous videos. For now, this is the best place to see Opoly's price. And currently, the market cap is sitting at a couple million dollars. So it's still very small and very speculative. But you do interact with admins and team members every morning at 9 a.m. And you have a chance to win every morning at 9 a.m. to add to the Opoly bags. If we go over to their Twitter, you mentioned I mentioned that an audit is very important. And that maybe an NFT raise could help pay for the audit. Well, today, they actually tweeted out that we are using tech rate one for their quick audit. Stay tuned for the results. Now, since Opoly is a fork of another token with very few code changes, something like tech rate could work to subsidize uh, community assurance based on the audit results. So we'll stay tuned for those. So I guess Opoly game does have some internal funding that has paid for what they've done up until this point. But again, a potential NFT raise would be the big move because you're talking hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars to pay for potential centralized exchanges, marketing, liquidity locks, and burns. And that's where you really get an exponential rise from a 3 million market cap to maybe a 10x of 30 million or 40 million market cap plus any rewards that you have earned. So definitely check out their... Twitter because they do do an update every day of what the role was, what it means, and when the next role will be. For example, yesterday we did land on the basketball icon, but the shot was missed. If the shot was made, then they would have handed out 17.85 million Opoly 
to holders of the token. This is how you get in early, and this is how you accumulate a large bag, and this is how you become a strong community member in these projects. There is speculation at play, but a large, a small amount of money can get you a large amount of tokens, and it's interactive. You can play every day, and if you're right in speculating on this uh, board game, it doesn't take much cash inflows to double, triple, quadruple your money, and if the NFT comes, then you're looking at much bigger valuations and opportunities and they can be much more creative with different board games and different use cases for nfts because they will have a ton of funds to hire more devs and more web designers and more marketers overall that's about all i have i just kind of wanted to run through it's a pretty the reason i like it is it's so simple so simple you own Opoly. every morning you check in to see where the board game moves you can hover in and see what's underneath the current marker here and that's it. You pay your 6% tax. So when you're on PancakeSwap buying this, you do want to go to settings and change it to 7%. That way it's slippage plus the tax so you get filled. And that's about it. They have locked liquidity already. They already launched the official website. They deployed the Opoly blockchain, which has been working flawlessly. I do have a small bag of Opoly that I see tokens go in there when it lands on a, a holder reward or an LP reward. And then this all comes with the potential rumor of an NFT project that would be massive funding and another utility for this interesting project. So if you like what you see, check out their website. I'll leave it up here, opoly.game. They have links to everything in here. Then you can get to their Telegram. You can get to their Twitter. And Dex Tools is where you want to go. You go to Dex Tools, you paste in their contract address, which is at the bottom of their website. You can see the price. You can get to trade it on PancakeSwap. If you click here, it takes you directly to this PancakeSwap where you can swap BNB properly. And I mean, nobody knows about it. It's not on CoinGecko, not on CoinMarketCap, not on any of these tracking websites. No real marketing that I've seen. And they're at two, 3,000 Telegram members, maybe a 3 million market cap. This is this video here is one of the first marketing they've done. I know beyond FOMO, Jason Berlin did kind of a quick, you know, that he was trying to learn it too live, trying to see how the marker moved and stuff. So, that, I mean, But that's about it. So check out Opoly.game for a small cap project that is in the gaming sector of cryptocurrencies, rumored to be bridging over to the NFT sector. And it is on the ever popular and cheap Binance Smart Chain being the first board game built on the Binance Smart Chain. All you got to do is tune in every morning at 9 a.m. Central to their Telegram and then follows up on their Twitter to see if you have won. You come for the game, but you stay for the rewards. If you want to get this information earlier, because there might be a price rise by the time you see this or the information may have been updated, then join patreon.com slash learn crypto. Thank you guys very much. Stay tuned for some more small cap projects that are on our radar for large caps. You know what we love. Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Solana has been on a tear. Participate in the networks and then look at the small caps on these networks to put to make some real life-changing gains, life-changing fun, and life-changing friends. Peace out!